What's up team? How you guys doing? Um, I'm excited to bring to you an announcement about a couple things that we have going on. Hopefully you already received our invitation to our Father's Day barbecue. We're doing drive through style. We've taken notes from Chick-fil-A, brought in some consultants. We think we can make it work. Uh, but no, Saucy Buns is hooking it up. We're so excited to be able to just provide you lunch. We miss doing that. Summer is some of the best time that we have to spend together. And we usually uh, get to party in the courtyard. And so come, we can party as you drive through the parking lot and give us a wave. We'd love to see you show up there. Our goal is that we can give you your family lunch, whether you're a father, whether you have a father, whether you want to celebrate your heavenly father. Um, it, it falls on Father's Day. We love the fathers, but we also want to just celebrate uh, um, our volunteers. Thank you, um, everyone on our teams, and just uh, give you lunch to head to the park, to go on a hike. Maybe you're going fishing. Maybe you're going to go back to your house and sit around. I don't know, uh, but lunch on us. Be sure to RSVP by June 16th so that we can make sure we have enough food for you and the crew. Um, the other thing is some of you already may have seen Pastor Jimmy Rollins is bringing a word to our church, to our church family this weekend, um, specifically about racial reconciliation. And you obviously know that there's such a, a larger conversation happening uh, culturally and across the world. And um, it is an absolute privilege as followers of Jesus, as the local church to get in the middle of what is happening in culture that is so significant and so profound. And I've talked to some of you, I've wrestled through some of this with some of you, I've heard your frustrations. Um, we know without a shadow of a doubt that this issue is, is, a, is a human one. Um, it is about people, but it has been joined seamlessly sometimes with a political issue, which we believe is an absolute shame. We believe that we are called to love and care for people. Jesus did not come with a political agenda. He came with a human one. But we know that we are not um, immune to the political stamps that get put on everything. And so the more I've prayed about this, the more I've asked God, like, what is our part? What is our place? And I continue to just be challenged with putting Christ in the middle of it and saying, okay, he would respond in love. He'd respond in grace. And so whether you're angry, whether you're frustrated, whether you're sick of hearing about it, whether you're hurting, whether you stand with them, whether you're the loudest political advocate, whether you um, are black, whether you are white, our job as Christians is to love people. And so, um, man, we love police officers. We love our black brothers and sisters. We love people of all races. And so could I invite you this weekend um, to join us in prayer as we go into these services. And then Sean and Jimmy are going to do a Instagram Live kind of Q&A style on Sunday evening. And so as a team, I thought it'd be important um, and powerful for us to go first in prayer. We know that this will bring up a lot for a lot of people. Someone asked me, why are we bothering to talk about this? Um, aren't we kind of like over it and done with it? And I, I said, kindly, um, we absolutely must talk about this. We cannot pretend there's something going that's, that we can't pretend that nothing is happening right now. And then um, we can continue to let it be a political issue or we can make it a people one. And I think that is our job as followers of Jesus. If you're hurting, if you're frustrated, if you're angry, if you have questions, if you have concerns about where we stand, would you please feel free to reach out? This isn't a, a one-way monologue. I, I think the church has the opportunity um, to meet all people in all seasons, all situations right now um, in the name of Jesus. And so join us, pray for us. Uh, pray, pray, don't pray for me. Pray for this weekend um, that the church would be such a signal of hope, such a signal of unity, such a signal in, in a um, place where people can gather in peace um, and in a place where culture is set. We don't need the media setting culture for us anymore. I think we've all had enough of that. We need Jesus to be the heartbeat of culture we need his heart to be the loudest voice and so um we just ask for a special grace for this weekend a special covering um because no matter what it will be met with people on all sides of the spectrum and listen i, I hear them all and I, I understand them and i can stand with you on, on all sides and so um but our job is to just love we don't need to politicize it any more than it already is 
uh, but we must find a way to love every single person that is on a very specific journey. And so um, I love you. I'm so thankful. Please join us in prayer. Please come have some barbecue. We'll catch you next time.